So I'm gonna do my best to describe dating in your 20s. If you're in your 20s, you feel this. If you're on your way there, get ready. If you've gone through it, be thankful you're not there anymore. But this is just my opinion. And to give it, I wanna separate it into two categories. Your younger 20s, 25 and under, and your older 20s, all the way up to 30. And basically, it's been my experience that when you are young, younger 20s that is, everyone is kind of in this homogenous group. We all just came out of college, whatever we're doing, it's just kind of the new beginnings. Everyone is just figuring it out. And there's a certain level of camaraderie that I sensed in this time because nobody was there yet. And everyone appreciated the fact that we are all just a bunch of idiots who essentially just came from being teenagers. No one had any expectations. Life experience was low. It was kind of just this fun experimental time. And that was my experience. I had a really good time in my younger 20s. And then I think it was somewhere around 26 or 27 when it really hit me that people are diverging onto two separate paths, very distinct from one another. There are the people who went the career route. They are established at this point. They've been there for a few years, maybe 10. They've been there for a while. And then there are the other people kind of like myself, just bumbling around, going state to state, trying to figure out where to live. We didn't stay home. We moved out right away. And we're just experimenting still. And for that reason, I feel like I'm still kind of this younger 20s mindset. I don't have anything figured out. And I look around and some of my peers are very similar to me. But others, like I said, are ready to get cracking. And if you go on your Facebook, you swipe on there for a little bit, I'm sure you'll see these people. They're sitting on one, two, maybe three babies already. They got a house, they got a dog, they got 20 cats, whatever it is. They are settled down already. They're like adults. And I'm looking at them like, damn, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna afford to go to this birthday dinner tonight. How do you guys have a house? And I mean, part of that is because I've bounced around from so many cities that I haven't established a career yet. And I'm living in the most expensive city in the country. And for the most part, if you're in the same boat, I'm sure you can relate. It's kind of like this treadmill that we're running on, just trying to keep up. And then other people, they seem like, at least from my perspective, and I know the grass is always greener, but they're sitting pretty. They're over here just chilling, paying a mortgage. I'm like, damn, you got the ticket, man. And for that reason, I am completely unqualified to be dating someone like that. I am a lost cause as far as they're concerned. So what I'm saying here is that, in my opinion, half the dating pool when you're in your older 20s is just different than you. Either you're more evolved than them or less evolved. And I don't mean that in a better or worse way. I just mean on this path. You're either on your way to a family or you're tr still trying to figure out how you're going to get there someday. So there you go. 50% wash. And then on top of this, I think meeting people at this age is a lot harder because people are more busy. They're working a job. They're working two jobs. They got this going on, that going on. They're career oriented. They're traveling. Like people have established themselves in a way that really takes away their time. And for that reason, you're not exactly as fluid as you used to be. Meeting people is harder. You got to make effort at the situation. And I mean, that's a good thing for the most part, but it is difficult though. I always wonder how the hell am I going to meet someone organically? And that brings me to my next point. A lot of people, because of this situation, go straight to the apps. And that is a vast swath of the population. People are like, all right, I need numbers. I need quantity. I need options. And I think there's some good to that. You might meet the person of your dreams. You might meet someone who checks every one of your boxes. But the downside is that you have so many options that you have all this consideration in mind. And that brings me to my final point about dating in your older 20s. You have more life experience. You've had a few bombs go off by now. You are not single at age 28, 29, 30 for no reason. Like something happened to you or because of you. And I can say almost unanimously, everyone I know who's my age, I'm 28, has this experience where they're like, damn, dude, life sent me down the chute. Life gave me a right hand. I gave myself a right hand. <laughs> In either case, people are going to see that. 
you're going to see that in other people. And you might take that in a good way. You might say, look at this experienced person. They know who they are. They have something they can bring to the table, experience. Or you might be like Seinfeld, <laughs> and you might say, I don't like the way you spoon your applesauce or spear your peas one at a time. You got all these credentials that you need checked off. And I mean, that makes things a lot harder because you might meet someone who you jive with, you're vibing, but then you realize that you just don't like this, you don't like that, they don't like this, they don't like that. And for that reason, it's not a match. And then as you go further down that pipeline, it's only gonna get more and more and more complex. And to conclude this whole talk, that is the final aspect of all this. Just the difficulty that you feel because the time pressure that we are sensing, especially if you want a family. If you're pushing 30, you're kind of looking at the clock like, oh my God, I got a couple years left, like I need to go. I need to stop being so picky. But then on the other side, you're hearing this all the time, never settle, never settle, find the right person. And the apps and just social media in general makes you think that you have all these options. I'm gonna hold out, I'm gonna wait. And then you slowly become more, you have like higher expectation. And I'm like, damn dude, all these things I'm considering and I still don't even have an apartment. I can't afford an apartment. Like it's hopeless. And I mean, sometimes I feel that way. I'm not over here saying I'm giving up. I'm actually in a ironically blessed position right now because I'm moving on from a breakup. So I'm not in the dating scene. I'm like a spectator. But holy shit, dude. I don't know if you guys are feeling this too. I just wanted to voice this because I know I'm not the only person who has some of these feelings. It's just a complicated landscape and it's only becoming more complicated as we get older. Part of me is worried, part of me is optimistic, but I mean, shit. This is just my honest take on the situation, guys. I'm curious what you think about this. Wanted to share some thoughts today because at the very least, just know you're not alone. If you are an upper 20 category, like I said, I'm right there with you, man. That's all I got to say today, guys. Catch you later.